Hi, this is Sabratha and welcome to Word of the Day, where we use the UK's primary curriculum to build your vocabulary one word at a time. And today's word is temperature. I'd like you to get your dictionaries out, children, whiteboards, whiteboard pens, anything that you write on. And I'd like you to look up the word, look up the word temperature in the dictionary and put it into a sentence. You have five minutes on the clock. Off you go.
Excellent children, let's see if you can share your sentences with your teacher or partner. Go. Let's have a look at the dictionary definitions. Definition 1. The degree or intensity of heat present in a substance or object, especially as expressed according to a comparative scale shown by a thermometer or perceived by touch. Here's an example sentence. At a temperature of zero degrees, water will freeze. So whenever we want to find out the temperature of something, we can use an instrument like a thermometer, which has a scale on it. At different temperatures, different materials freeze, melt, boil, and in the case of water, it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. You also have different scales of temperature, like degrees Fahrenheit, as well as degrees Celsius, degrees Kelvin. You have all of these different types of measurements to measure temperature. Definition number two. The degree of internal heat of a person's body. So when somebody has a normal body temperature, that's around 37 degrees centigrade. If a person has a fever, then that can go up. So when you touch that person, then they feel hot and sweaty. This is usually a defense mechanism to fight the invading bacteria or virus. Here's an example sentence. I'll take her temperature. Another way that the word temperature can be used in this umbrella definition is to say that the person is running a temperature. That's usually said for when the other person have a temperature, not you. So it's an informal way of saying that the other person is sick and is feeling hot with a temperature. Definition number three, the degree of excitement or tension in a discussion or confrontation. So let's say that you have a discussion and you can feel the tension in the room, in the atmosphere. Then you can say that the discussion was heated. Here's an example sentence. The temperature of the debate was lower than before. So before where you had a really heated discussion where everybody was getting a bit passionate and a bit riled up, then later it all sort of cooled down. Then you're talking about 
the excitement and the passion in the room in terms of temperature as a way of gauging how hot or how cold the room or people were. So let's see how the word temperature is broken up into its sound parts. I like to break up the word like this. tem per tur tem re tur now, it does follow the natural syllables of the word. However, each of those sound segments can be said in a slightly different way to the way the whole word is pronounced. In particular, the last sound segment, T-U-R-E. It's as if the word temperature has the sound C-H in it, a ch. In fact, there isn't one. So you have to be really careful not to get tripped up. At, the, at this point. This is similar to the word signature in the fact that it has a, the same suffix t-u-r-e. Again the sound is the same temperature signature. It's denoted by the t-u-r-e which has no ch even though you can hear it in there so don't get tripped up. Let's see if you can have a go at spelling the word yourself. You're going to get 10 seconds and the word is going to disappear and let's see if you can get it right. Here's the word one more time for you to look at. And 10 seconds on the clock, off you go. Excellent children, the word temperature is spelt T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-U-R-E. -E -E. That's T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-U-R-E. -E. Fantastic kids, great work. Have a good day. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's word of the day and I'll see you next time. Hi teachers, I am plodding along on my last 10 words. I'm really happy because it means that once the word of the day series comes to a close, then I'll be able to make a start on my full one hour grammar lesson. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hit that subscribe button so you make sure you stay up to date on all of the content that are going to be coming up soon, especially with these one hour grammar lessons. They will be accompanied by planning and resources which you can use directly in the classroom. All you have to do is head over to my website, link is in the description box below and you can check that out. Uh, make sure you subscribe, again stay up to date, I will be making an announcement as soon as the website is ready. Take care, have a great day and I'll see you next time. The degree of a...